Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4 here, bringing you guys more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And today, we're gonna be talking about an assault rifle that can give you guys instant kills constantly. Now, what is this gun called? Where's it located? What's it about? Well, this gun is called the ARX. It's located in the assault rifle division, and by the way, guys, it's a three-round burst. I know most of you guys don't even like three-round burst sometimes, or so don't even use it. I suggest to start using this one right now like right now because for sure it's going to get nerfed pretty soon now why does this gun give you guys instant kills like right away well since it's a three round burst the, th the first three rounds that you shoot out of your gun is an instant kill with three bullets so not only that you're saving a lot amount of ammo so you can move on to the next one and then get it again with the first three rounds like maybe like two out of three you get people like that with an instant kill and it's darn accurate it doesn't shake a lot it doesn't have any recoil by the way even without the foregrip the gun is still good I do have other gameplays out there without the foregrip and you guys are going to be able to see how the ARX is still stable it's good all around the problem is it's still not that kind of good from short range you might find yourself in situations like that when you get stuck in front of people in front of your enemy and you're gonna be like yeah I gotta, I gotta shoot him down well maybe like around 40% of the time you can actually win so keep your distance guys I want you guys to keep your distance with this gun shoot across the map with it and you're gonna do just fine you're gonna be getting all your kill streaks like I'm doing right now and uh, more information about this gameplay guys while you're watching right now and seeing how good this gun is um, I called in the stealth bomber, whatever they're called, you know, whatever the little airplane is called, you know, that kills. I'm just going to call it the bomber. The bomber, I called it in five times or four times. And uh, the little system hack that you see right there on your screen, I called it in at least five times. I know I called that one a lot of times because, you know, I kept getting a lot of spy planes, so I, I constantly kept, kept getting a lot of system hacks. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I called in big kill streaks, and it helped on my team. So... Yeah, if you guys want to get those kill streaks, I suggest to start using this gun. You keep your distance, you really don't get a lot of damage because you're across the map, and they can't aim at you because they're using some other gun that pretty much it is the ASM, and sometimes those ASMs don't even can't even, you know, aim from that far away. Cause they're not that accurate, if you think about it. Does make a good amount of damage though, but it's not accuracy. It does shake a lot. And the ARX doesn't. The ARX stays stable. So, um, yeah, I'll be doing a best class setup about the ARX, like, maybe tomorrow or in two days or so. And I'll uh, give you guys more information on how this gun works, by the way. Oh, and also, guys, keep your eyes on the screen right now. Watch this little part. I just took down two guys. You guys can see that in the feed. I just took down two guys. Another one over here that just spawned. That will be three in a row. Four in a row. This guy jumping out the window. Another guy flying around, but I end up getting the guy on the floor. Going back over here with the reload, and he jumps over there, and damn, I end up dying. I could have gone six kills in a row, but I ended up getting five, which is still good. I'm proud of that. You know, brought me a lot of flashbacks when I used to do that constantly, like every single day. It was a, like daily gaming, and I would keep on getting it like so many times. So, um, yeah, I was happy about this little moment because I was like, damn. And especially with a three-round burst, you know, I was taking out people from medium range. That was a good amount of range right there. So you guys can already see some examples of this gun, how it works with some certain ranges. You know, take notes, guys. Take notes. Start copying these attachments you guys want give you permission you know start using this gun it's good for you it's you guys want to call in some kill streaks and you guys want to get better in your KD you know use this gun because you're gonna be keeping your distance a bunch of times also guys I recommend to start using this gun only from long range battles though don't be start using uh, using it on that map where you have to be on a skyscraper and you gotta like jump around like crazy in order for you to take down enemies no don't use it on tight maps, don't use it on small maps, use it on large maps to medium sized maps. That's what I recommend start using the ARX. The other one, start using the KFI or whatever that I posted about the SN6. You know, start using those weapons on those maps. But when it comes down to long range maps, use this gun. It's stable, makes a lot of damage. You waste few amounts of rounds. So, yeah, if you guys want some of that, you start using the ARX right now. So um, later on tomorrow, maybe like a few days after this, you know, I'll be posting more about the ARX so you guys can see more information about this gun and start using it even better. So, yeah, I mean, I'll start, I think I'm going to start taking away the, the foregrip because it really doesn't need it. I know I remember when I barely started using this gun, it didn't need the foregrip. I don't know why they ended up uh, adding it to the weapon. I'm pretty sure there's another gameplay out there where I had uh, the foregrip off. I'm not sure where, but yeah. 
So if you guys got any comments about this weapon, let me know in the comment section. You know, if you guys got any questions, you know, how I answer them, don't worry. Kind of rusted here on Call of Duty, but yet I'm still kind of okay. I'm doing okay right now. With a 1.6 KD, uh, I don't really mind. It's really been a while since I last played this Call of Duty game. It really doesn't feel like Call of Duty though, it feels like Titanfall. <laughs> so anyways, as you can see right there, I mean I'm getting like a lot of ranged kills. I'm telling you guys, long range kills. Nice for the people that are jumping around. This guy's laying around right there. Like with two round six bursts, uh, two round, three round bursts right there. You should be able to take down an enemy like with no problem. Like So, so you're only wasting like around six bullets constantly. Six to three bullets. You just gotta aim guys. Gotta aim good and you should be able to take him down with no problem. And I got a system hack right there. So yeah, I mean it's, it's a cool gameplay guys. It is a pretty cool gameplay. I'm just taking out people. I'm going merciless. You guys right there. I got a merciless. So I'm actually like 10 kills deep, 11 kills in a row. Um, yeah, I'm trying to survive right here. I'm, as you can see, I'm, not, I'm actually going to the faces. I'm not hiding over there. Actually, I'm keeping some kind of distance, you know. I like to keep some kind of distance with this one because I don't like rushing with it. So yeah, just follow every single example that you see right here on the map, I mean on your screen. She would do just fine. Just keep your distance. Don't be hiding though like a little bitch. Don't be hiding. You, you guys gotta go out there and, and look for them sometimes. And I'm low on ammo right here. Damn. I couldn't even find a single gun. This is exactly why I couldn't get more kill streaks after this. Because I was like, yeah, damn, I can't shoot anyone. Trying to keep the area clear, see if nobody was around, and um, nope. There was an enemy right there, and I didn't catch him. Damn, I'm so blind. Yeah. So the gameplay is pretty good, guys. If you guys like the gameplay, leave a like on it. I mean, it was just amazing it's been a while since i've actually gotten good here in this game um i'm not saying that i'm an expert i was actually a good expert on modern warfare 3 and black ops 2 sometimes but uh this game i'm just showing you guys what i've been finding out lately that's it not that big of a pro player like i used to there's another guy on top of the roof right there boom 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 <laughs> So, um, yeah, I mean, I don't have any clans, by the way, guys. Just in case you were asking, I'm not in the clan. If you guys want me to join your clan, I'll join them. But you gotta, guys, you guys gotta have, like, at least ten people in there. I don't want to join anybody that only has two or five and just declare themselves as a clan, you know. I don't want to join any kind of clans like that. I want to join somebody that's out there to win. But not, like, overdo it, though. I don't want, like, freaking pro players. I want average players, though. That's how I played in Modern Warfare 3 with average players, and I'll do it again. So if you guys are looking for an extra player, I'm 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 there for you guys. So you guys can look at my history back in Modern Warfare 3, just search it up. Yeah, the gameplay's about to end already. One minute to go, 194 to 105. Take out this guy from that was just camping right there or hiding. Can't get away from me. A lot of good examples here, guys, I'm telling you. And the gameplay is about to end. So that's it, guys. Leave a comment. Tell me what's up. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty events, Warfare, please let me know in the comment section. And I'll tell you guys uh, what's up uh, later on, when they're coming out and stuff. So subscribe for more, guys. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty events, Warfare.